Welcome to the Peterson Automotive Museum and another deep dive into a vehicle from our vault. Today we're going to talk about Speed Racer Mach 5. Now for a car that has a fan base of 50 million people, you would think that there would be a lot of them that are around. But there weren't. In fact, before the year 2000, there was no three-dimensional Speed Racer Mach 5. And that's because it was just a cartoon. But a child safety network in, at the turn of the 21st century decided that it would be the perfect way to capture the attention of children. Despite the fact that it was intended for a safety program, it's really not a very safe car, but it teaches us a lot of lessons about what not to do and by definition, what we should be doing uh, on the flip side. Uh, this car was built in a scant 17 days. So you can't blame the builders for really not putting a lot of attention into the safety aspects of the car. It's a fiberglass body mounted on square tube metal frame that is powered by a large American V8 engine positioned immediately behind the driver and front seat passenger. Now, even though it looks like it has doors, it doesn't. These doors are non-functional. But this car was never meant to be truly a functional automobile. It was meant to capture the attention of children and their parents, teach them to be safer drivers, and give them a better understanding of how to prepare yourself for the world ahead. Now, even though Speed Racer Mach 5 existed only in the imagination of the cartoonists that began drawing it in 1967, a movie was ultimately made. It was a genuine big budget Hollywood movie that came out in 2008 called Speed Racer. But the car that it featured still wasn't a real car. It may have looked real, but it was entirely digitally generated uh, for, for the screen, although one vehicle was built for the show circuit after the movie was introduced so that people could have something three-dimensional to interact with. But having been interpreted in three-dimensional form, you can really see that the Speed Racer Mach 5 was a pretty car. It had all the right curves and all the right places. It had a, a very aggressive appearance. It had yellow headlights that shined actually on the ground. And one version of this car even has circular saws jutting out from the, from the front end, just like the cartoon vehicle did. It's got all kinds of push buttons on the interior uh, to play with, and uh, it's got that styling ornamentation that we thought had long been gone when this car was created, and that's fins. The car has a couple of very prominent fins on the rear that kind of give it that aerodynamic jet aircraft um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly to my next, my next um, rescue um, uh, appearance. But the version that was produced for the Hollywood movie was not the last genuine three-dimensional Mach 5 that was ever built. That honor goes to a vehicle that was based on a Corvette that was actually intended for small series production. But we only believe that one, one of those was ever built. So today, we're in the presence of Speed Racer, the first Speed Racer built in 2000 um, for childhood safety promotion. And we think today still resonates with people, uh, the 50 million of them that follow the cartoon series. Now in 1967, when the cartoon was first introduced, space, was on everybody's mind. And this car has a look of a spaceship. In fact, it looks like there were three rockets up front just waiting to launch uh, with an M standing for the Mach and a five that represented the, the Mach 5. And as we know, Mach is the speed of sound. So Mach 5 was, it was theoretically five times the speed of sound. Uh, quite, quite a claim to make from a car like this. Well, thank you again for joining the Peterson Automotive Museum on another deep dive into one of its collection's vehicles. Today, Mach 5 from the Speed Racer cartoon series. <laughs>